Hey everyone, it's Donna. I'm going to tell you a story because it's kind of a windy, spooky day here where I'm at about um, a family member of mine and what happened to him. And this was back in the... Oh, we're going into the late 1700s, early 1800s, what happened to him. Um, his name was Captain George Owens, but we're going to back him up a little bit and talk about his, how he g came to be. Um, my family has kind of been on me to do this. This is on my mother's side of the family. Um, so I'm going to tell you about him because he was a pretty cool guy and it kind of goes down. Anyway, about nine or ten generations back, I had a great grandfather. His name was the Half King, Chief Tanagrisson. He had, had a child. He had two daughters. Um, one of them, they called her, her Mass, M-A-T-H-S, or sometimes she was called Rebecca. Um, she had a sister that is documented. In fact, in Benjamin Franklin's Gazette, it said that the half king Tanagrisson's daughter he had written Ben Franklin had written that um, they had left a fort these two girls had left a fort around the forks of the Ohio with which is now around Pennsylvania and if you do know the forks of, uh, of the, it's near Pen, uh, Pittsburgh okay it's near Pittsburgh where the uh, rivers connect they called it the forks she had left with a man by the name of Trader John Owens, who is well documented. Um, he actually was one of the first men to travel into the state of Ohio. Uh, put his little footstep here, and you know the Indians were here. So he traveled it past the boundaries of most people. Um, he had left the fort with um, Tanagrisson's daughter. We'll call her Rebecca. It's easier to say. And her sister, who left uh, with them, with a guy named McClure. So what happened was, Trader John um, and Rebecca had one son. His name was George. And then uh, Rebecca, the Indian daughter, died. She was about 41 when she died. Um, Trader John married again, had several other children, but we won't discuss them, but they are other children by Trader John. Um, but we're going to talk about George, what happened to him. So he was raised along the forks of the Ohio. He became a captain, um, and he was called by the president at that time to come to help George Rogers Clark along the Falls of the Ohio um, because George Rogers Clark was trying to open Fort Jefferson which is now Jeffersonville, Indiana. Um, he brought his troop in. There was a massacre going on. The Indians were trying to stop the invasion of the white people coming in. And so, uh, there was a, the, when they came in, there was disease going on. Um, then they had to, um, uh, a lot of people left, let's put it that way. Uh, they were deserting the fort. George Rogers Clark said, you know, he was called uh, by the president and said, leave, leave, leave. They told uh, Captain George Owens, you need to leave. The president said, get your man out and leave. And his response was, I will only leave if George Rogers Clark himself asks me to leave. Otherwise, I'm staying. And George Rogers Clark did not ask him to leave, so he stayed. And he fought alongside of George Rogers Clark to open up the falls of the Ohio area, and they got it open. 
and opened up that area and the fort remained. So what happened then was, and this is the scary spot, part because this is Halloweenish. My ancestor was um, hunting one day with a friend along the falls of the Ohio. The Indians saw him and they captured him. Now what's so bizarre about all this is that he used to tell people, George, uh, George, Captain George Owens, he would tell people that, gosh, here I am, and I'm fighting Indians, and I'm part Indian myself. Isn't that ironic? So, here's what happened to George, my relative. He was captured. They took him down the Vincennes Trail. The Indians did. They stopped. And they decide to torture him because that happened quite a bit during that time. It was a warning for others who were coming. They burned him at the stake slowly. Um, and this went on for nearly a week. And then he finally yelled to his friend who had access to a gun at that moment to shoot me and kill me. So his friend picked up the gun and killed him. Now, before he died, he had several ch uh, children, a couple children, and one of those children uh, was named George Castile Owens, because George Owens had married a, a girl by the last name of Castile, and that was who I'm descended from. And it is said that um, George Castile Owens had a hate for the Indians. It was, it was awful. And he lived to be 104. And would have, they said in the newspaper article, would have lived longer, but he was building a shed made of logs, and one of the logs fell and killed him. Otherwise, they said he was in robust health, and would have probably made it another decade. So that's my story for the day. It's uh, getting near Halloween, and I'm going to have some more stories to tell you. And they're all true. So hang in there. Please subscribe to me. And this is a shout out to my family. I told you I would be doing it for you. And we're going to post some history. So, And it's true, at least on my side. And my, my mother's family has been here. Ooh, Oh my gosh, before the pilgrims. So hang in there, please subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.